Get ready to tone your body with these four yoga moves you can do in the pool with Sue Gisser, the creator of H2 Yoga. Let's begin with our tree pose. Start with the outside of your feet parallel, about hip width apart. Okay. Shift your weight onto your right foot. Take your foot up off the floor. Tuck your tailbone to engage your lower abdominals. Take your thigh up and around, so your thigh bone is carving out your hip socket. Place your foot on the inside of your standing leg, anywhere on the leg that's not the knee. So thigh is great, but you know what, so is calf, so is ankle. And slowly bring your arms up to the sky. The water is a great place to practice balance because if you fall, you don't get hurt. And then go ahead and repeat it on the other side. Love it. Pose of a dancer. Go ahead and shift your weight onto your left foot. Grab a hold of your right foot with your hand so your inner thigh is engaged and lift your pelvic floor. Bring your heart forward. So if you're bringing your shoulders forward, leave your head and shoulders behind, bring your heart forward. To keep yourself balanced, keep your eyes softly focused on a point, work on keeping a relationship between your ribs and your hips, and keep breathing. Breath by definition is balance. Inhale balances exhale, fullness balances emptiness. Chair pose. There's nothing better for your butt than squats, and our favorite squat is the chair. Start by sending one sits bone back 45 degrees behind you, and then the other sits bone back 45 degrees behind you. So this really opens up the dimple side of your bottom. That's what we're Love toning that. here. Each time you come up, give a little squeeze. Then send both sits bones back at the same time. So we're gonna stay here and use our arms. So go ahead and press the noodle down and slowly <laughs> bring it up. It is hard. Keep your bottom reaching back like it's an anchor. Come up and squeeze your bottom. So we're gonna do about 10 to 15 reps of that. Catfish sea cow. This is a spinal flexion exercise, just like cat cow in yoga, catfish sea cow. Love it. For this exercise, you can use either one or two noodles. We're gonna use two for a little extra buoyancy. Press the noodles down, kind of right underneath the girls, use them like a bustier. Love it. Take the base of your sternum forward and up against the noodles and take your feet up off the floor, sitting in a chair. Use your abdominals to take your thighs up and around and open to create right angles from the thigh to the calf and then place the four corners of your feet together, creating a diamond underneath your body. Take your tailbone and bring it back, just like an inch or two. That'll bring your feet back behind you. Balance by taking the base of your sternum forward and up, creating a long front spine. This is our sea cow. Feel that. Take your tailbone forward, and that'll bring your feet forward. That allows the floating ribs to come forward, which gives you a contraction at the top of your six pack. Catfish. Inhaling sea cow, long front spine. Exhaling catfish, long back spine. I would do like 10 to 15 reps of that. 